Hi everyone, I'm back um, to show you another new product. Um, this product is called Toner Tux, um, and it's a really fun product. It's um, foils, glitters, I'll show you the glitters, this is how they come in this nice little tube um, so it's easy to store. And their patented glue pen. What's great about this glue pen is you can trace color um, and write on you know any kind of paper surface that you'd like um, and you need to let it dry they say it can take between three minutes to an hour it just depends on how much you put down if you don't put down a lot I found that it's about a, you know a three to five minute waiting time um, for it to dry and then it becomes tacky and when it becomes tacky you can use the foils and glitters on top of it so I'm going to show you a couple of things that I've already done with it um, this is a little Lockhart stamp that I've stamped and then I use my glue pen to put um, some glue on the bottom cupcake liner and then on the cherry and then I put the foil on top um, and peeled it off and I'm going to show you how I did that and uh, on this I've already put glue so I'm going to show you how to do the glitter as well really quickly and this here I've written just hi um, you can do any kind of writing you like and then I put the foil on top. Here I have my blog name Scrap Bits written out and I'm going to show you how to do half of it in foil and then half of it in the glitter. Foils come in these little 4x4 four four sh square sheets out of space and I'm going to show you how I did that. I, my glue is already set up for about 10 minutes so I know that it's ready. I'm just going to do half with this aqua foil and you just lay it down and you just smooth over where you've glued. And you can kind of see, if I zoom in here just a little bit, that the glue kind of shows through the foil and that just lets you know that you've covered all of it. And then you can just peel off and you've got foil on whatever you've written or colored in with the glue pen. On this side I want to show you how the glitter works. Again, the glitter is very fine. Um, you just touch it. Here's some of the pink that I'm going to use. Just grab some with your fingers and then you just rub it right on. And this is probably the coolest of the two techniques I think. And then you can just shake and flick off. And so here's half of it done with the foil and here's half with the um, glitter. Um, really, really easy to use. So I already did a little bit of this cupcake here. Um, and as you can see, there's only a little bit left there. Um, that's what happens when you don't let the glue set up all the way. Well, don't worry. It's easy to fix. You just let the rest of it dry and then you go in with your foil. But I wanted to show you that so you don't think that you've messed your image up. Um, and another um, tip that I wanted to add is when you put your foils down, make sure that the pattern side is facing up. Just lay it down, smooth it out, just a couple times with your fingertips, and there you go. So you can see that I had done just a little bit when part of the glue had set up and it didn't all take. So then I just came back after the rest of it was dried and I put the foil down again and uh, did the bottom again and you've got a perfect cupcake paper. On this side we're going to do the topping of this little cupcake. I've just got my gold glitter here again with my fingertip. I'm just taking and rubbing it in. And then tap away the excess. And there you have the glittered top of your um, cupcake. Now if you want you can come back and you can put some more glue down on the cupcake papers and I'm going to show you how to do that with the pen. Let me go a little wider here. This is the glue pen. You want to kind of hold it up and down and the blue has a, glue has a little bit of a blue tint and I'm just running it just like a pen or a thin marker. It comes out nice and fine along where that cupcake paper is. Because it has a blue tint, that allows you to figure out when it's dry. If I zoom in, you might be able to see it has a little bit of a blue tint. Um, 
when it's dry it will be totally clear and it will be tacky to the touch. Um, and again, I didn't put a lot down, so this should only take about three to five minutes to dry. Some tips about the pen that you should know. This is the pen. This is how it comes. Um, when you first get it, in order to kind of get the ink to flow, you need to hold it upside down so that the cap is at the bottom. There's a little puncture type place in the cap. Hold it down, take it out, and push it down on your paper. And you should get some glue. If you don't, holding the cap upside down again, put your pen in it, close it tight, pull it back out. And do that until you get a nice flow. If you find that it's too much, you do the opposite. You would hold the pen up and put the cap on tight on the top like this a couple times until some of that extra glue has gone back down in. So if you find that while you're um, tracing something or coloring in something that it bubbles out, just hold it up, put that cap back on. So one of the other fun things you can do is, you know, you can freehand draw with your pen, um, you can write um, you know, you can make polka dots on any papers, any kind of um, embellishment type of accents you want with this glue pen. But you can also use stamps, like I had done the cupcake stamp. This is a little flourish stamp. Um, Susanna carries a bunch of the Prima flourishes. They're really fun, um, make a nice element to add to your cards or your stamped images. And what I've done is I've stamped out two, and I've already traced the glue on these. Um, this one has no glue, and I wanted to show you up close how easy this is. So again, just holding that pen upright, I'm just tracing along, and I can see, I don't know if it shows up on the video well, but I can see the light blue area of the glue that I've traced over, and you can go over it um, a second time if you're not sure. And that's as easy as it gets, and then you just let it dry. So these two I've already done over here, and they're ready to go. And I don't know if you can see on the video here, there's a faint scroll here. Um, I'm going to do foil on that and show you how I did that. I actually used a crafter's workshop stencil. Susanna carries these also in many different um, stencils and designs. This one just happens to be a bunch of scrolls and flourishes on one sheet. You could do a whole background with this or you can just pick and choose as I have. I've picked just one of the scrolls here and what I did was just put it down, held it down firmly and traced one time with my glue pen. You want to make sure that when you're using the glue pen you don't get too much coming out because it can leak underneath. So just a nice thin line and uh, you can use any of your stencils for that. And I'll show you how that looks with the foil. We'll do it in a different color here. I'll use this multicolored. Remember again to keep the foil with the pattern side facing up. And what happens when you rub over is you can see that design right through the foil. Not just and then you just peel it up. And there you go, you've got a foiled. Um, embellishment that you can add to your card. On this side, I'm going to show you how to do the glitter. This one's already ready, so I'm just using some of the aqua glitter again with my finger, and you rub it in. You don't want to tap it in like you normally would. You rub the glitter right in. And there you can see the glitter. I use a little stiff fan brush um, when I'm doing this kind of glitter and I just kind of sweep out the excess after I've tapped it off. Um, but again, I just used a floor stamp. Any stamp will do. Um, I picked a smaller flourish for you and I just stamped it and then as I showed you I traced over it with the glue and you can do the foil or the glitter on top of it. So a really fun product and uh, you know great for embellishing your stamp images creating embellishments, and, you know, if you just wanted to write on either your scrapbook cards or other paper projects. So thanks for stopping in with me.